The 10-Minute Drill. This is a big one. It's brought to you by All Pro Roofing. All Pro Roofing LLC.com on 1010XL. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. Hi, sisters, sports concepts and rationalizations here on a football Friday beef. Do we have anything to give away? Oh, uh, we do. We're gonna send one look at Google out to Tim Aquana to take in the Constellation Furick and Friends All golf right. tournament presented by Circle K. It starts today. In fact, it starts in about 30 minutes. Of course, yeah, time's moved up, yeah. but you'll be able to go out uh, any one day with a pair of tickets, either today, tomorrow, or Sunday. That's cool, and it's a good, it, it, it is going to be a lot of fun out there, and you'll be able to see. There's lots of opportunities to watch football, too, if you're headed out there, so uh, you'll have a big time out there if you're making your way to the Constellation Furick and Friends. And uh, as Beef just mentioned, we've mentioned a couple times today, and we will mention up until the point. But, yeah, they've, they've pushed those tee times back from 10 to 8 because of weather concerns later today. So uh, gates for spectators and opening tee times now just a half hour away if you had plans on mm-hmm. heading out to the uh, Constellation today. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, Jaguars hosting the Titans 0-4. Oh uh, don't want to lose 20 in a row. That's that's now small potatoes, though. All eyes. It's 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 – it's going to be, you know, if the, if the Jags get blown out, then the narrative is back with Urban Meyer. If the Jags uh, win, then everything goes away. I mean, that's basically how it works in the NFL. I mean, it's just the truth. I mean, we could beat around the bush a little bit, but that's that's the way it's going to be, right? Yeah. Well, the, you know, the, the I saw a, a, I saw a note yesterday that I'll apply to this. Yeah. Because I think they're – starting to meld a little bit but i saw uh, by one of the accredited polling operations Mm -hmm. one of pi whatever one of the main thing but they're doing a study on journalism okay and america both sides stop feeding the pig you know right left republican democrat Mm -hmm. whatever category you want to put it in but america as a whole Mm -hmm. has never trusted the media less than they do right now okay the trust level of the media what do you think it is uh, and I understand the media operates on giving you information and that would be the standard for how they make money and run a business and everything else. But so what do you think? And and so if you're in the information business, you would think the trust level would have to be pretty high or what's your business to begin with? Yeah. What do you think the tr- America's trust in the media is? Less than 50. 36%, man. Like second lowest ever registered. And I say this because after for four days... The media has told you how lost and disjointed and frustrated and embarrassed the Jaguars players are with their coach. Okay. To the point of suggesting replacements midseason and should he be fired and how will he ever again be able to look his team in the eye. And yet, these that have been spoken for in reports, anonymous or otherwise, they're, meanwhile, meeting the media, and no one is saying any such thing. Right. And it's not also being said as if I'm going to say what I need to say. What they say seems to be what the situation really is. That happened with you on Monday with Jahad Ward. Mm-hmm. It happened through the press availability earlier. It's happened with Josh Allen. Everybody that has been approached and asked, laugh off this notion of tremendous distraction and right. It's just, and so, and I say this only because often there's a middle ground where, look, you can report something and it's not quite that, or the player can say it's not quite that, but right. this one, it is so wide apart right. on what is being told and sold and written mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and what they, the, the subject of that is really saying. Right. I, I don't know how to, I don't I think, know what to think of that. I think there ought to be, I think the old rules ought to be, re-implemented where if you're going to say a source told me that you got to get three sources to tell you to conf- you know what I mean? to back up what the source told you before you report it because again and we've pointed this out all week if you want to find someone unhappy in an organization you can find someone unhappy in an organization if you want to find someone that doesn't like the boss you're going to find someone that doesn't like the boss that happens anywhere you work in anywhere America so and I'm not sitting there saying everything is, you know, wine and roses down in Jagland because it's not. And what Urban did was idiotic. And he should have, you know, and, and, and what we've talked about, the bigger mistake was not coming back with the team. And that was wrong. And, and you know, but then, like I said, it, uh, when, you, when you watch as a, like, uh, again, I'll bring this up 
for those who didn't hear me the other day. As a Mets fan, and you, you watch the guy manage the team, and during the game he makes egregious error after egregious error that the media points out all year long. All year long. This is ridiculous. Why isn't this guy playing? Why did you make this change with the pitcher? Why would you call for this at this point in time? And then he gets fired, and they say, he's such a great guy. Why are they getting rid of him? He should stay in the organization. What Do you ever just say, hey, that was the right move, tough move, but that was the right move? No, they don't. It's just... It's, it's always attacking the negative. And then, by the way, and I'll say this too, I saw that uh, uh, Shelly Meyer left Twitter yesterday, and she should, uh, because any dude who tweets at her about her husband is, you need to check yourself, man. That's like tweet, uh, that's as bad as tweeting at a kid when, a college kid, when he messes up in a football game or something. It's worse. You really need... You really need a little dose of of check yourself. Well, the hypocrisy. I mean, you can, so you basically, but why you're t- tweeting at her is because somehow her husband is so immoral, such a bad guy, yeah. and yet by in saying that, you're worse. Yeah. yeah. What you are doing to her yeah. is worse than what Urban Meyer did at the yeah. bar. So I thought that was uh, I saw that, and then I looked at some of the responses, and I was like, my God, the, I would like to, and I would like to do this. This is a television show, Pross. This would be a fun TV show. It's called Striking Back. Okay, and what we're going to do in striking back is we're going to, with camera, it's a little bit of a reality TV show, and somebody's going to tweet something that is egregious to someone or factually incorrect. We're going to find them. And we're going to come right up on them with the camera rolling, and we're going to interview them, and we're going to get them at work. And then this we're is like to wa- catch a predator. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and then we're going to watch him lose his job. And then we're going to go around his gonna office. Him, we're going to yeah. go around his office. We're going to ask for yeah. reactions. To yeah. his hey, oh, I never you, liked did, him anyway. Did you hear what your coworker Carl <laughs> tweeted last night? Can you give me a response to yeah. this? That would be maybe it would shut Striking him up after back, a while. Starring yeah. Dan Hicken. <laughs> I like it. Take You're Graham. sort of like the equalizer of Twitter. Take, I am. Take Graham Cam with you, and y'all yeah. go knock it out. I'd be the equalizer of Twitter. What do you maybe, think? Maybe if they turn it like into it. a movie, Queen Latifah could play you. I maybe. Like it. You that find would be fine. You figure out exactly where Even the handle better. came from, who it is, what yeah. they're about. You yeah. follow them around, yeah. and let's just report on their sp- uh, spotless lives. Yeah. I like it. I'll yeah. go with you. We'll double team it. That's better. Even yeah. better. Yeah. Yeah. Do, or I'll tell you two what. Two cameras. I'll tell you what. So we'll go. We'll we'll. I'll come in with the heavy. And I'll throw to uh, 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 Jeff Prosser has more, and then you can kind of tell tell us a story of yeah. said said yes. loser. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Turns out Carl has four DUIs. <laughs> we need to investigate and work on Carl. Jeff did some deeper let's just, digging. Uh, let's just say Carl had a pet goat when he was a kid. <laughs> Striking back. <laughs> what do you guys think? Are we in? I like it. That's a great show. Go, hey, you're welcome, uh, world. Go ahead. I need to make money. Have at it. Um, yeah, it, 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 it just, it's, it's sad in a way, but anyway, to get back to the point on, on track, there is a game Sunday and I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to watching the Jags against Derrick Henry and I'm hoping that they can continue to improve and I'm hoping that they, you know, like I heard Bevel while well, we're trying to figure out ways to get uh, uh, Agnew the ball and I, I want to scream, listen, coach, with all due respect, bro, um, you don't have a ton of talented playmakers of everyone screaming to get the ball. You need to get the ball to Robinson. You need to get the ball to Chenault. You need to get the ball to Agnew. Maybe throw a couple of that t- new tight end you got. I mean, who else? You know, and you and you use and you use Marvin Jones Jr. Uh, as your as your safety valve, as your you know eight eight to ten yard guy, and get him the and, and sprinkle those in when he's you know everything else fails. That's all. That's what you do. I, I really think one of the, the biggest strategies that the Jags could employ would be prayer. And that would be that oh, okay. Julio Jones and A.J. Brown, just take one more week off. We don't wish anything long-term on I you. get the feeling Julio ain't playing, yeah. but A.J. probably it, will. But, but again, if you're playing, coming off of a hamstring issue, your day may not last long. Right. Right? All it's, look, we've seen that with Anthony Rich. We saw that with Anthony Rich against Kentucky. I will maintain forever that he was not right or he yeah. would have. we would have seen him more. Jags have to... Have to get home. Have to get home on the quarterback. Yeah. Have to get home on Sunday. Have to, as Joe Cullen said yesterday, uh, correct them. You know, we're going to get – well, they got to get their start this Sunday. Yeah. You got to get to Tannehill. If you can get to Tannehill and, and, and you get a break where those guys are missing, 
You got every shot in the world. The Titans here. have not been great. No. I know we they're the monster under the bed to a certain degree because especially Derek uh, Henry and what what's you know what he's done to this team, especially the last four or five years. But they they just lost at the Jets. You know, so yeah, on the one hand, well maybe they're a little bit bowed up. You know, that win that they had at Seattle in week two, you know, Seattle's suddenly a two and three football team. Mm-hmm. But 38-13 at home to the Cardinals to start the year. Oh, you know, two and two. And, and yeah. I can get ahead of ourselves. It's, see, by the way, the Titans play here against the Jags, okay? Then they got the Bills and Chiefs back to back. I mean, you really can literally, this isn't a pipe dream. And it's not, I don't, I wouldn't say this last year or three weeks ago. But the way this team has is, is been improving week to week, it's fair to hope they win this week. Yeah. You know, it's saying, it, in other words, if someone says, I think the Jags win this week, to me, that's not, oh, pie-eyed Jag fan probably says it every week. Right. I can, I could, I could see the argument for the Jaguars winning this week. And if they do, at, at one and four, the best record in the, you know, in the division is going to be two and three, no matter what happens this weekend. And then that two and three team has to turn around and go Bills Chiefs back to back. And by the way, then at the Colts and at the Rams. So the Titans could be, we could send the Titans tumbling, which would be an even more awesome side effect. I, if the Jags could trip up Tennessee this weekend, they fall to two and three. Let's say they do, let's say they split at home with Bills and Chiefs. Right. They're three and four. Right. And then they go at Colts, at Rams. They split, they're four and five. I mean, yeah. very easy. You're looking at a best, at probably best case scenario, four and five. Yeah, and so get back in it. Well, I, I don't one feel, thing I, at a time. Yeah, I don't feel. But you're I will say that four, you got to get one, I, and I get that. Yeah, but say they that say that arc of improvement continues because we've said this week the wave improved, improved, improved. If yeah. they improve this week, they win. Yeah. Like there's no more improving without the victory because they've gotten now to what they lead games in the second half. They've lost by three points in the final seconds. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it is what it is. They don't have to. They don't have to improve very much more to win a game. If they do, they win the game. Well, if they do do that this week, what do you think they're going to do the next week? What will be your first inclination? Win or loss? If they win this week? Yeah, if they beat Tennessee this week. What do you – And then going to – yeah. I yeah, think they'll right? Win. That's yeah. right. So right. then suddenly, okay, well, maybe we're two and four. You know, I, yeah. I'm with you. But before the last two weeks, we would have said, oh, listen, don't tell me about a win until you win a half. Okay, right. we're done. All right, don't tell me about a win until you're in the game in the final minutes. Right. Now they've been, you know. So oh, I hear you. The, the stumble would be extra disappointing because from a football perspective. The it, Titans had 21 players on their injury report throughout most of the week now. Most of them practiced What's it down yesterday. to now? Yeah, yeah so they'll – they're. I think getting, that's Vrabel playing the Belichick game. Probably a little bit. Probably a little bit. Where he so came up from. They're getting back. The Jags uh, uh, have been, again, I mean, you hate losing Shark and Can. I mean, you're always going to lose somebody. And Did you see where LaVisca Chenault had the first elite grade by any Jaguar player this season against Cincinnati? Chenault had a yes. great, a pro football <laughs> focus graded him at like 91. Uh, grades of 90 and higher are elite. He's the first Jaguar player in any game this year to grade out at 90 wow. or quote-unquote elite. Wow. And you still don't consider him. By the way, if I was asked you to name the 10 elite receivers in the NFL, yeah, he wouldn't be his one. name ain't flying up there. So He would not be one. And your soccer uh, team got a nice win last night. USA? Yeah. Who did we beat? Last night we beat Jamaica. And um, did, we, did and we smoke out after the game, or what did we do after well, the game to no, celebrate? We, the game was right here in the okay. United States of America, well, and I don't back. believe that they, quote, smoked out after the game. Okay. Who? What does it mean for us to win? Well, it's just a nice little eight-point uh, padding to – Are we in? Are we in the cup? Um. Well, we we probably will. The U.S. is unbeaten twelve and two in its last uh, fourteen competitive. Yeah, but that's not the cup qualifying. Matches. This yeah. is a cup qualifying match. This is a cup qualifier. Okay, what does it mean? Talk to me about what it. We're means. Ta- we're tied for first in our group, and by the uh, way it's set up, we would win the tiebreaker. That's what it means. Canada, who remember was that a tie or a loss Ooh, to Canada? It was a loss, maybe. Canada. But Canada uh, had a draw with Mexico last night. Uh huh. So, the U.S. is in a tie with Mexico for first, uh-huh. and their goal differential gives them the edge right now. Canada's third, Panama's fourth, and the U.S. plays Panama on Sunday. Have I now told you what it means? Canada! Let's go to break. Or is that Panama? No. Ow! It's not. not it's, Canada! Huh? But, but why would you do that when they play Panama this week? Oh. I mean, it was right there for you. You didn't. There was no reason to go Canada. They literally play Panama! So, mm. I don't know what you're doing. 
Son of a. It's that lack of well, focus in the fourth quarter that cost us ball game. Let's go. Like reach father, down, like reach father, down. Like between son. my legs, ease the seat back. I need what a number, what, Danny. Wonder what that means. The number is for one of the great Canadians of all time. 99 for Wayne Gretzky. Okay, call number 99 right now. <laughs> 6 4 1 10 10. Hold on. I like this part. Crank it up. This part coming up. <laughs> Go home. Hey, Today, hey! Fair tickets to the. Hello, Jax! Oh, oh, Constellation Furic and Friends. I'm Tim Aquana, presented by Circle K. Pair of tickets for any one day. It starts today, goes through the weekend. Call now, 641-1010.